We're just gonna take a couple. Just gonna take one, two. All right. Thank you. It's gonna be a great breakfast. I love you. I'm gonna miss you. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. How you doing, man? Good, how are you? <laughs> yeah, we got all, nice. all the goodies in here. Oh, that's great. Oh, wow. That is so cool. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right, let's head out. I think that you have eaten more mint than any person that's ever lived. Huh. He eats bags of mint. Four ounces every You're day. Are an interesting dude. Good day to you, sirs. You have gluten-free buns. Okay, awesome. A new friend here. He doesn't say much, but uh, he's a good guy, I can tell. Yeah, but that, that old uh, dang thing for there, man. But thing, I tell you one mic thing for dang them. Oh, there's a bee right there, see? What the heck is it doing? I don't know. Oh, these smell so good. There you go. Well, the food was delicious, but we gotta go. Good seeing you. You didn't give them any. I did. Oh, yeah, sorry. There you go. He looks thirsty. He's been here for a while. There you go. He stood out of danger. In the end of my pick, Ned would have denied that Ned followed towards his leg. Ned would said. So this area was home to an ancient fishing village, Hawaiian fishing village. So maybe we'll see some ruins, some stone walls around here where the village used to be. Ah, oh, check that out. That is perfect fishing. And of course we, we got fishing company there. <laughs> yeah, I picked this remote spot for a reason, but uh, other people are obviously lovers of remote spots too. Shoreline. Why did they need to put that sign up? This is not a toilet, it's a temple. <laughs> so yeah, this is some of the remains of the ancient fishing village, I'm sure. So evidently I didn't go far enough. You can drive from here. You're the only suckers that walk. <laughs> this guy right here is fishing too. That's a great spot right there. So I forgot all our fishing hooks. <laughs> Alright, well I'm gonna go back and get the Jeep and bring it up here. <laughs> Oh, 
kind of fish this is. We got a little cheat sheet here. So the big mystery is how did it get here? Fish this big don't typically end up in pools this deep in. Oh my, no, it's not! Help! Holy crap! Is that a squirrel fish? No. Do you know what that's called? Or? They, they call it toal over here. Toal, okay. Yeah. Uh, they brought it in from... All right, so mystery solved. A local fisherman here said that we can eat that. Anyways, we got dinner. That is the cutest little fish. Oh, this thing is tiny. This thing is a voracious predator. I'm gonna eat something as big as my head. I'll eat your finger. <laughs> it's like a piranha. Dude, it's the, oh, oh, oh. All right, let's go back in. See ya, buddy. Bye-bye. What is it? Oh. Saddle wraps. All right, so you can see the saddle there. All ready to ride. If I was a little, little underwater man, I could ride this saddle wraps. Not today. Beautiful Christmas wraps. It's like the exact same size as the shower. Good catch. All right, so the fish aren't biting or we're bad at fishing, so. Either way, we're gonna go exploring now. Oh. This would be a good spot for jumping in. Yeah, that's so cool. Except. But also really. super dangerous. So the ocean is all the way over there, but there's some kind of a channel, lava tube, that goes all the way to here. Ooh. You can see the entrance right there. Ah, oh, check out that rainbow. It's so beautiful. Oh, there's a ton of boring urchins right here. This may have been part of the fishing village. Nice barrier here. You could sleep right in there. Dude, check that out. Yeah. Oh, that's a giant cave in there. When the ocean's really rough, I'll bet you that water will come out of here with such force it'll probably knock me off and back into there. So this is a perfect little snack area. Maybe 400 years ago, somebody built this for us. You can usually tell when these stone walls are older, they have like moss growing on them and stuff. But just in case, you want to be careful. If you ever see walls like this, don't disassemble them or mess with them. Just be them. I love you guys. I'm so glad you came out here with me. All right, little fishy friend. Holy crap! Asian Axe is going to get the projector set up. Yes. We're going to have a whole projector screen right here. I'm We're surprised. Play video that games. I'm, tonight. I'm literally just sitting in thin air right now. Like, yeah, right? <laughs> I guess this is like overhanging. Uh huh. It's like a portable Airbnb experience. They've got all this stuff in here for cooking, cups, plates, bowls, cookware, first aid kit. They've got hammocks. They've got a lantern. They've got a uh, mask and flippers for snorkeling, pillows, hammocks. blankets, sheets, beach towels. Hammocks? Yeah, hammocks. Yeah. I know. They've even got a propane grill right here, a stove. They do not give you the propane tank though. You gotta grab that at Walmart on your way out. You look like a king in your palace here. Yep. It's a pretty sweet palace. Kings in, I think like India or emperors or whatever they, uh, I'm not sure what they call it, in places where they have elephants. Put white sheets uh, up on their walls, on, on their elephants and then Yeah, they, they had like tents on top of the elephants that royalty would ride on. 
Uh, I'm not sure which uh, which year. Wherever the, the Persians, wherever there were Persians. the Persians, yeah. You know, remember that Ethiopians have silk rubs maybe. On? Nope, not Ethiopians. Not Ethiopians. Okay. They have Chotel ones. Okay. So we're basically like Persian kings. There. Oh, it works. All right, so we got the mini projector set up here, and uh, it's working great on a white sheet that I bought. A cheap white sheet from the store, so. This is great, y'all. We're going to have a blast here tonight, hanging out in our elephant tent. <laughs> but first, I'm so hungry for some dragon fruit or something, or a coconut. You want a coconut? Oh, yeah. All right, let's go cut up on a the coconut, eat some dragon fruit by the ocean. Pineapple. Oh, the pineapple, yeah. Okay, let's Wait, go do what, that. Which guy are you going to use? Which guy? Uh, I think I'm going to use... Uh, how about him? So, they also give you a little ice chest. You hear all that? All that sound is what's making this sand right here. Clunking together of all these volcanic rocks, that's what makes this black sand beach here. Mm. Amazing. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Best coconut. dinner guest died it's pretty right. big that is big man that is so cool so this fence right here marks the barrier for the nature preserve now i'm on the nature preserve now i'm not so we're not camping on the nature preserve you're not allowed to unless you're a part of some special program where you volunteer and do some stuff all right so we're gonna watch the sunset while i clean our dinner guest here who was so rude and went and died on us Uh, <laughs> all right folks so we're just gonna keep it simple tonight we're gonna have a uh, lobster tail and fish steamed in there yo So these stones here kept the fish and the lobster out of the water there. Almost forgot the potatoes. Potato? Yeah. Okay. All right, so we've got lobster tail, fish tail. Try it. Fish head. Try the fish. Lobster tail, potato. And we also have some butter here to dip the lobster tail in. It's very good. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. That this is, is the best fish I've ever had. A-okay. Love it. Mmm. Oh, <laughs> this is incredible. Mm. Do you believe we just found this fish in a pool? Nope. <laughs> what luck. Check that armor out, man. <laughs> it's super tough. Oh, my mouth is falling off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, look how slimy, disgusting that is. <gasps> oh, I'm going to ruin my meal right here and just... Oh, look how look at all the goo. Oh, mm. Yeah, oh, it's like oh. snot. Mm. Mm. Oh, Ready. yeah, Zelda has the bow of light now. See, oh, yeah. 
Do we have to kill that Lionel? Alright agents, well, it's time for these Persian kings to go to bed. Hopefully our elephant doesn't wander off in the middle of the night. <laughs> Good night. How'd you sleep? Good. This thing is great. I slept so well. Waves outside lulling me to sleep. We're getting a little bit of rain right now, so I got us underneath the canopy here. It's perfect. So we have wild chickens that just lay eggs around the house that we're living in. And uh, we steal a couple of them every once in a while. They are delicious. It's one thing that's kind of unique to Hawaii. You can have wild chickens everywhere. And uh, there's really not many predators to get them. Maybe a couple mongoose and a few birds of prey. This right here is an egg of a dragon. And it is delicious. So delicious. When it's dragon egg laying season, I eat one of these every morning before breakfast. It's got this fleshy inside. Careful, the dragon egg juice will stain really badly. Thank you, wild chickens. Good taco. Staying warm up here. <laughs> Alright everyone, so we still got some rain going on out there, so I'm going to play some Breath of the Wild. Axe here is going to play some Kirby. The Forgotten Lands? Yeah. Alright folks, well, the sun came out, stopped raining. It's really windy though, but uh, we're going to go do a little exploring, maybe some fishing, we'll see. Yeah, so this is hundreds of years old right here. You can see these stones have the moss growing on them like this. And uh, it goes along around here. There's another set of walls up there. So this would have been one of those remains of a fishing village that the Hawaiians would have built and used between 400 and um, I don't know 200 years ago something like that <laughs> so you can see this very clearly defined rectangular shape here it goes all the way around possibly this over here would have been an entrance this was just like a little hut or something so I love to just sit in a place like this and close my eyes and put myself back in time and then open them again and just look around and imagine like what took place here. Who is here? What were they doing? There's another wall here. This one goes all the way along over there. It always puts me at peace to remember that the people who were here, whoever they were, you know, they dealt with the same difficulties, the same life problems that we all deal with. And uh, we have that connection as we are human. The Hawaiian people were indigenous to this area. It's important to remember that as humans, we are all indigenous together to this planet that we call Earth. Oh. Good. Mm. So real quick, I want to give a big shout out to Zazu Campers for letting us take this Jeep out with the tent and give it a shot. It has been fantastic. I highly recommend them if you're ever coming to Maui and you want to go on a cool, cheaper vacation than normal. Renting this thing is cheaper than the cheapest hotel on Maui. And you also get your rental vehicle all wrapped up in one. So that makes it pretty much the cheapest way you could vacation on Maui if you need a rental vehicle while you're here. We had a blast with this and I highly recommend it. If you love camping, you'll definitely love doing this. 
I'll put a link in the description down below to Zazu Campers. And just so you know, this video is not sponsored by Zazu Campers. I just happened to rent a one wheel from the guy and I saw that he had these. I was like, oh, we need to do that. So he let us check it out. All right, agents, well, remember, until next time, life's an adventure, love is a key, love is a who, and love loves you. Love made you, love caused you to exist, and love continues to uphold your existence. You exist and you are amazing just because you exist, just the way you are. You're incredible and you are loved. You're still my Kurt. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Yeah, we probably had a little too much fun here. I think that's why his stomach hurts. <laughs> well, I love you, Agent Axe. I'm sorry your stomach hurts, but I'm so glad you came with me. Mm -hmm. And uh, we should do this again, right? Yeah. All right. All right, maybe we'll do this in Washington, or maybe we'll do it again here in Maui with this kind of camping truck. Maybe we'll get one of these tents for my truck. That'd be cool. All right, Agent Tex out. Agent Tex out. Thank you.